Let's take a moment together, just you and me, to think about something truly spectacular, God's unmatched greatness. It's not just about the incredible things He does, which are, without a doubt, breathtaking, but it's about who He is at His very essence. Have you ever found yourself in complete awe of God? Not just for the blessings He pours out, but for His very nature. There's a passage in Isaiah chapter 40, verses 12 to 14, that always gets me. It describes how God measures the vast waters of the earth in the palm of His hand, how He marks off the heavens by the width of His hand. Just imagine that, holding the entire universe within the span of a hand. That's our God. This imagery blows my mind every time because it's a vivid reminder of His power and sovereignty. And then Isaiah asks us, to whom then will you liken God? It's a question worth pondering, don't you think? The answer is as clear as day. There's no one, absolutely no one, who can match up to our God. He's in a league of his own, crafting the universe, setting the stars in the sky, and laying down the Earth's foundations without consulting anyone. His wisdom and power are unmatched. When life's going great and everything seems to fall into place, do we remember to thank Him? Not just for the things He's given us, but for who He is, mighty, all-knowing, ever-present. And what about the rough patches? Those moments when we're down and out, do we still lift our eyes and hearts in gratitude? Take Paul and Silas, for instance. There they were, locked up in prison, yet their hearts were bursting with songs of praise to God. Their focus wasn't on their chains, but on God's majesty. Their story reminds us that God is always working, even in the most unexpected ways. Let's challenge ourselves to cultivate a heart of gratitude. Yes, for the big miracles, but also for the everyday blessings, the breath in our lungs, the family around us, and even the simple meal on our table. Life's not always perfect, but there's always something to be thankful for. Can you think of something right now? Let's take a deep breath, clear our minds, and enter into a moment of heartfelt prayer together. Dear God, as we come before you today, our hearts are filled with gratitude. We're just stopping by at this moment to say a huge thank you. Thank you for being the extraordinary, incomprehensible God that you are. The vastness of the universe, a magnificent creation that sits comfortably within the span of your hand, leaves us utterly in awe of your might and wisdom. You who laid the very foundations of the earth, who set the stars in their place and called each one by name, have shown us time and again the power of your word and the depth of your knowledge. In the midst of our daily lives, with its highs and lows, joys and sorrows, help us to always remember your sovereignty. Whether we find ourselves scaling mountains of success or navigating the valleys of trials, remind us to lift our voices in praise to you, for you alone deserve all honor, glory, and praise simply for being who you are. We're thankful, Lord, for the blessings we see and those unseen, for the moments when your presence feels so close we could almost touch you, and for the times we've walked solely by faith, not by sight. You've been our constant guide, our unfailing strength, our comfort in times of distress, and for this, our gratitude knows no bounds. Lord, we ask that you cultivate within us a heart of perpetual thankfulness, one that recognizes your handiwork in every aspect of our lives. May we see your goodness in the morning sunrise, your faithfulness in the changing seasons, your provision in our daily bread, 
and your grace in the smile of a stranger. And now, Lord, we ask for your blessings to be upon us. Bless our coming and going, our thoughts and actions. Let our hands be extensions of your love, our words a reflection of your grace, and our hearts a dwelling place for your Spirit. May we walk in a manner worthy of the calling you have placed on our lives, shining your light in the darkness and spreading your love wherever we go. We pray for those in need of healing that they may feel your comforting presence and receive your healing touch. For those in need of provision, open the windows of heaven and pour out blessings they cannot contain. For those seeking direction, be their guide and lamp unto their feet. As we close this prayer, we don't want to keep this moment of communion with you to ourselves. We feel called to share the peace, hope, and love we've found in you with others. So we ask everyone reading this to not only receive these words into their hearts, but to share them with someone who needs to hear about your love and grace today. And finally, we invite our friends and family to join us in this journey of faith. Subscribe to join a community of believers seeking to grow closer to God and share this prayer with others to spread the hope and love of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray, Amen. As we wrap up our time together in prayer, I hope you're encouraged to keep your eyes fixed on the greatness of God and to find reasons to be thankful in every circumstance. He is with us through every moment, guiding, loving, and providing for us. Let's carry this heart of gratitude with us today and every day. Until we meet again, keep looking to God and remember to keep that heart of yours filled with thankfulness. Share this prayer, invite others to join our community of faith, and let's continue to spread the light and love of Jesus together.